How does fashion make you feel? Fashion should make you feel amazing. Fashion should bring you back to a particular time, a place in your life. I don't care if it was your seventh birthday, your ninth birthday. You should remember you had on this amazing dress, this amazing suit. Fashion brings you back to a time, a place, the actual moment that you were in. Other than music, it's the only thing that brings you back to that place. I remember having a beautiful red dress on. I don't remember if it was Wednesday or Tuesday. I don't remember if it was 10 years ago. I do remember I had a beautiful dress on and it made me feel good. That is fashion. It invokes the onlooker and it makes the person in it feel amazing, that they live with it for years and years and years. And you could be 80 years old or four years old. When someone says, you look amazing, you say, oh my God, thank you. And you take that home with you and it makes you feel good. That is fashion. My name is Fiscani. I'm your style architect and welcome to the Ivy Showroom. This is a fashion garden. We have tons and tons of wardrobe here from couture to outerwear, furs, you name it, ready to wear stuff. We are your fashion supply house. We provide everything fashion and take care of all your wardrobe needs. Follow me as I take you around on this amazing fashion tour and you may get to see me style a model, a supermodel. Come with me. Jessica, isn't she amazing? I the know. Jessica White. <laughs> so today, we are doing Miss Jessica, mm -hmm. who is a model. Oh, excuse me. Super model. Sorry. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, super model. And she has a big, big day coming up. One of many, obviously. So she's a super model, and she models. Mm -hmm. And in, today, in particular, she's modeling for Artistry Rebirth, which is a beauty brand. Yes, it's a beauty company. Um, really amazing products. And uh, we have a really big photo shoot coming up, so I need something really sexy but beautiful. Yes, but it, since it's makeup, what, what do we feel? So we always have to consult. So we get the right feel. Well, I have these this green eyeshadow, so I don't know what you want to do. So we could match, mm -hmm. but sometimes you don't have to match. Fashion has no rules, right? Right. right. So you don't have to wear green because you have green eyeshadow. Okay. So I think let's try and play on another color. Okay. And um, see if we can mix the two and then see mm. if it all works out. Oh, I'm excited. You ready? Let's do it. You ready for it? I'm ready for it. She breaks all the rules. <laughs> I break you all gotta the love rules. her. Okay, let's go look. <laughs> okay. Come on. We have endless I know. options. I know. So I know what you're gonna pick. I really know. I got my eye on something. Yes. But you know it's fashion. Mm -hmm. We have to consider the occasion. Right. And always consider the occasion. And you are a thousand percent familiar with that mm -hmm. uh, in this long modeling career that you've had. Right. Long. But you know, you are always telling me that I need to consider the occasion a little bit more or like read the room. Because yes. I'll want to wear like a ball gown to a, the grocery, a grocery store. St yeah, like that's how I am. And and that's fine if that's how you feel, right? Mm -hmm. So it's fashion. There are no rules. Right. It's absolutely no rules. Mm -hmm. But it isn't, it's of good taste mm -hmm. to, fa to dress appropriate. That's true. And to, it's like having good manners. I'm learning that. You know, to dress appropriate. <laughs> if someone says, hey, come to my black tie event, that doesn't mean come in your sweatsuit. Right. Even right. though that's how you feel, like, well, I'm not wearing black tie. I'm going to be in my sweatsuit. That's not it. You want to, it's good great taste yeah. to come to a heat to, to those things Absolutely. today you're doing a big photo shoot right it's going on billboards mm -hmm. who knows where everywhere in the world probably mm -hmm. it's jessica and so this particular brand they want glamour right and so they're all about the sparkle and look at your makeup and you know so what are you looking at i'm looking, I caught at, you looking, at, I'm looking at this one of course you would like that because it sparkles and and it's you know this is couture it's hand beaded strand by strand these are from all the way overseas in Eastern Europe. I know, I love these Yeah, dresses. and they make them hand by hand. So I knew you'd like this. Yeah. But this is couture. It's hand beaded. Stunning. I mean, oh. the women in Eastern Europe take hours and hours and hours 
to carefully make this by hand. So beautiful. This is what couture is. And I just I love mean, the emerald green. Of course you do, and it would look amazing on you. Look at that. But today I want to try something different. Okay. We're going to take the risk. Okay. We're going to um, not match the makeup. Are you willing? I, I know so we're gonna. We, we'll try both. <laughs> we'll try both, Jessica. I know you love this dress. <laughs> no, but, but we'll try. We'll try both. But I'll, I'll. We'll look throughout the room okay. and see if we can find something else that goes with the brand. Okay. And um, so we stay in good manners. Okay. And good taste, and not just. Um, Wear a sweatsuit. And not obvious, right? And not so obvious. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. remember, this is for a brand, so we have to provoke the onlooker. Okay. So the people that, you know, we, we our aim and goal is for people to stop and, and say, say wow. wow. Exactly. And, you know, and your beautiful face will show. So let me look for something. Else. Okay. Come on. Okay. I, something caught my eye already. Oh, I love it. I see where you're going with this. You see? Mm -hmm. And I have a surprise for you. It actually has gloves. Oh, you know I love a glove moment. amazing for the shoot. <gasps> yes. Yeah, oh, I, I love this. this. with the gloves will make an amazing billboard. Yeah, I do too. Let's try and it's it It's gotta on. go really great with my skin tone. No, absolutely, of course. Yeah, I love Color this. matters mm. and, you know. All right, let's try it on. Let's try it on. Hey. Follow me. Okay. While Jessica is getting dressed, we will consider color. Always consider color when you get dressed. Of course, bright colors make you feel happy, but you can always mix the two. Consider color for your undertone. Sometimes you can pick colors that don't quite go with your undertone and your skin tone. So make sure you don't wash yourself out with color. Pick the right colors that, number one, you feel happy in. Number two, complement your undertones. But do not be scared of color. And when you want to mix it up, that's okay too. You could go really bright and dark, like today. I did some black and some red because I felt like the two. You can always mix and match. How do you feel? I feel beautiful. I love this color so much, Biz. I know. Oh my I, God, I, it's this perfect champagne color. With the, uh, and it just goes really well with the eyeshadow. Exactly, so this is a perfect example of not matching, yeah. but it goes. See? I think you look this is stunning. stunning. Oh, we said at the same time. Yes, I love it. <laughs> we know when it's right. You look absolutely stunning. This dress is hand jeweled. It's perfect fit for you. Um, I think it complements your skin. Mm -hmm. it, I, uh, the designer did a great job Beautiful at job. even the, the, just the architecture. Mm -hmm. of it. Look at the shoulder pads. The shoulder pads. And fantastic. this all goes. In, this will all play together for your billboard cover. Because mm. remember, we're doing makeup. Mm -hmm. So as much as it's overwhelming, it does make you stop. It'll really pop, though. Right, it makes you stop and say, what is that? Mm -hmm. What's going on here? What are they selling? Mm -hmm. And it's, we're selling a beautiful face. Right. So we, you know, and, and your confidence really shows. Yeah. Confidence is one of those things. Confidence is actually your best outfit. Yeah, it is. The best thing you could ever wear is confidence. Yeah. Not this color. With confidence mm -hmm. and if you lack confidence when you wear a dress you can't pull it off you can't pull it yeah. off like you're smiling you haven't stopped smiling yet. I love it have you ever heard the statement go big or go home this is going big this is fashion this is couture this is 800 hand stitched roses on a road 800 roses on a rope, hand stitched by someone. This took weeks and weeks to make. This is going big. This is one of those fashion moments that we discussed earlier on. You may forget the time, you may forget the date. You will never forget the one time you wore this robe with 800 roses on it. This is fashion, this is big. This is what we call a statement piece. So if you ever wanted to grace the cover of a magazine, or just wanted to feel good and had to take a beautiful photo, a spectacular photo, you would need something this, this spectacular. This is a statement piece. This is fashion, this is couture. Go big or go home. What do you think I should do with the hair? Um, the hair, I think this is where we can, we, we can actually 
collaborate. Okay. I know you like your hair down and long mm -hmm. in general, but I say if you're gonna wear it down, it should go to the back like that. Okay. Because if you put it in the front, it will fight with the jewels. Right. So, yeah, see, move it back. And so we see the neckline, we see the shoulder pads, and it's going straight back. Get okay. into a mo model pub, see? I think that looks amazing. Yeah. And then we can pick a shoe. You know, you're the risk taker. Yeah. Um, and don't be afraid to take risks. That's another part of fashion. I don't know, what do you think about these? Or should we try these first? See, that would be the risk. That's a risk, the right? The obvious. The obvious would be, would be the pink, the, right? The pink ones. That's but that's a risk. And this dress actually came with cute little gloves. Did you ever think pajamas would be a style? It's lovely to be trendy, but some things are just timeless. And of course, everyone's been wearing pajamas forever, but it's actually a trend and it's on trend and it's a style. Different types of, it's not really pajamas, it just looks like pajamas. So the idea of wearing a pajama during the day, evening, or pajama style is such a big trend. So again, in fashion, it's so many directions you can go. Take the risk, you can wear pajama during the day and at night. Not a real pajama, but pajama style. Look at all these different styles of pajamas. But it's still style. And you can pair it with, let's see if we find a matching pair here. Here we go. Well, not that. It would be that. But it's style. Some people mix and match. So you never know. How do you feel today? Feel like mixing and matching? This is a risk. The average person would be like, what's going on? But some people will go that way. There are no rules. Or here we go, the perfect match. It's just no rules, it's fashion. It's however you feel and own it. Have confidence. You wanna wear this with that shirt? Go for it. I see nothing wrong with it. Just make sure you're confident when you do it. And then we could pick a shoe. You know, you're the risk taker. Yeah. Um, and don't be afraid to take risks. That's another part of fashion. I don't know, what do you think about these? Or should we try these first? See, that would be the risk. That's a risk, the right? The obvious. The obvious would be, would be the pink, the, right? The pink ones. But that's a risk. So can you fit the Oh, shoe? let me get the, the other size. <laughs> you're the model squeezing this is in. 30. Well, you know, I can. I would try to squeeze into it. That's what is bad for business, though. <laughs> <laughs> but get, how, how long have you been doing that? Just being a model? Just out of case. Squeezing just, my feet into shoes I can't fit since yes. I was 12. <laughs> since you were 12? Yeah, well, ballet helped. Really? Do, doing ballet helped me. Wow. Because so of my feet, I don't feel it anymore. Really? No, not until so the end of the night. So you walk the runway with just like... Shoes I can't fit. Oh, I've had to have surgery on my feet a few times. You're, you're kidding. Mm-mm. I have a podiatrist on call. Wow. So how would you walk with these two little feet? Oh, you have... Oh, you know, would it, it ever, ever be like shoes that are too big? Sometimes it's too big. And that's the best case scenario. So what are you doing when you're too big? You're flip flopping a little bit? No, you, you stuff. And you oh, squeeze your feet in real tight and you just hope to God that you can just make it. But it's actually Victoria's Secret. My Victoria's Secret fashion show. I had a stocking on one leg and the shoes were too small. No, the shoes were too, it fit perfect, but the one that had the stocking on my left leg the shoe kept flopping off. So I was like, give me a size seven. So I'm a size eight and a half. So they gave me a size seven. And do you, if, I don't know if you understand, eight and a half to a seven is a huge stretch. That's a whole. That, yeah, so to, I was like, squeeze my foot into the tiniest shoe. We literally had me right before I walked on the runway. I couldn't put the other shoe on until it was time for me to get Right, right it was before that tight. it was that tight. So right when I was about to walk on, I got a whole team, ten people, just with one foot, <laughs> trying to get this foot in the shoe. Why didn't you just do the eight? Because we had we couldn't get rid of the stocking. If you can go back and rewind it, it's the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show where I have one stocking on the leg, and 
you can look and see. I, I'm smiling the whole entire time, but I was in How so was much your pain. How did it to the effect No, of walk? not at so all. Professional no, not at all. Said, hey. you, you lose shoes. I've had heels break. Nobody knows. Nobody well, knows. We know. We see it. People don't. People. No, they don't. People don't know what's really going on. Uh, true. You know. Yeah, I've been in fashion shows where it's like, oh, and you just keep going. I mean, I think don't you know broken. that's the difference that separates you from a, a model and a supermodel because models you probably Bingo. know and supermodels you, you never find way. out until I tell you yes. years later. Exactly. <laughs> and you just keep going. So with there you go. There's a little inside secret on what happened. Sometimes less is more. Don't overdo it. Too much accessories, too much layers and layers and layers. Keeping it simple and having clean lines always make for a better outfit. Unless you're doing an editorial or something that calls for the dramaticness of the outfit, have clean lines. And if you want to overdo it, make sure we can see and differentiate between all these layers. So keeping it simple and having these clean lines it's really important and there is a science to overdoing it. You don't just go throw a bunch of things on. You have to see silhouettes and lines when you overdo it. But rule of thumb, keep it simple. And guess what? We have the glove. Oh. Accessories. Accessorize, accessorize. Yes, let's but see. But in this case, not too much because again, we're, we're selling beauty. We're selling makeup in the face. Okay. Now these gloves may be short, but again, how would you, they, these are shorter, they should be longer, but let's see how you can pull it off because you are a supermodel. These long hands. Yeah, put it, you have five fingers, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> Not four, okay? There you go, oh, that's gorgeous. And you can frame your face with it. I think that's gotta be amazing. Pull it down, yes. And we'll fix that, oh, beautiful. So you like the gloves? I love the gloves. That would be the risk. This That's the risk we take in here. Yeah, that would be the risk we're taking. Oh, there you go, <laughs> put a ring on it. <laughs> exactly, so. Are we gonna squeeze in? Sure, let's do it. No, it's oh. okay. Oh, okay. Don't okay. worry about okay. it. I, I feel bad. Let me know. After hearing that story, I feel really it, bad. It was just one foot, though. So. I know. <laughs> oh, somebody, somebody offer a massage on the left foot. <laughs> was it the right or the left? It was the left. The left foot. But yeah, those are good. But these would be backup. And we always have options. Okay. The more the options, the better. The better. Mm -hmm. But knowing and having confidence is, is best because you wouldn't even need 50 options when you're confident. You kind of know what you like. Yeah. You know what feels good and looks good. Absolutely. And you just kind of go with it. Yeah, it's I like agree. Oh, thank you. Every woman is going to have their one big day. Some women get multiple big days, but you at least will have one big day, be it your wedding, prom, or just anything significant in that nature, you will need to look fabulous. Make sure on your big day you look amazing. You're getting married, you're going to prom, it's your 30th, your 20th, your 50th, milestone birthdays, whatever it might be. You're a superstar, you're going to an award ceremony, you're accepting an award. Whatever it is, it's very important to look the best you can ever look. We have couture gowns here that if you know your body type, which will help you do that, that's why there's a girl like me that'll put you in the right thing because I would know how to dress your body type. You would wear a couture gown or a gown or any kind of gown that will accentuate your figure and make sure you look spectacular for your big day. In this room, we have tons of gowns in all colors, all shades, all beads, just fabric, whatever your taste might be, we have them. Remember, the bottom line is to look amazing and spectacular. You have to look amazing for your big day. Jessica. I love you. I love you. Mom. Thank you so much for styling me. I love this dress. My favorite part about the dress is the color. It's very feminine. It's sexy, it's showing leg, but yet I still feel covered up enough and it's gonna be all about the beauty aspect of things versus it being overly sexual. 
and you did amazing. Thank you, you for coming. You are always on point. Thank you. Thank you for coming to the Ivy Thank you for and me. make sure you knock them out. Thank you. I will. As you always do. I will make and you sure. do look stunning. Thank you. And the pleasure. Thank you all. Thank you guys. Enjoy. So guys, if you're not a supermodel, I suggest you wear the right size shoe. Because if you're not a professional, having two little shoes or two big shoes is just not great. You will look uncomfortable, it won't be comfortable, and you will lose confidence. So picking the right shoe is very important. Picking the right heel size for women is very important. Make sure you wear something that's comfortable, something you can walk in. The last thing you want to look like is someone that looks like their feet hurt or is just, just very uncomfortable and just gets really awkward in the room when someone walks in and it just looks like they're in so much pain because your shoe is too small or too high or anything that falls in those lines. Make sure you pick a comfortable shoe to complement your outfit because it gives you confidence and that way you glide into the room. And anytime your feet hurt because you have a heel that's maybe too high, your knees buckle. And so you just don't stand up straight. Standing up straight gives you the long strides that you need and you walk in the room and you own it. You're so comfortable, you know, when you have the right heel, the right heel size on and the right heel length. When it's not the right thing, you walk in the room and you're looking for the immediate chair so you can sit down. And that just really shows that you're not, com you're not comfortable and which then shows that you're not confident. Following fashion trends. So couture clothing often sets fashion trends. Staying up to date with current fashion trends to ensure your styling is on point is always going to be number one on my list. Make sure you keep up with the trends. Also, don't forget, you know, the, the, the timeless pieces, but there's nothing new under the sun. And even with fashion trends, it's just done better. You know, in this decade, we're doing it better than they did it eight decades ago. But there's really nothing new under the sun. It's just the people's different interpretation through fashion and design of bringing something back. So it's really fun to keep up with trends and also interpreting it to what it means for you. Welcome to the Fur Vault. Opulence is here. Remember I told you about wearing gowns on your special big day? What better to add to that than a fur? You ever heard the statement, fashion beats the weather? They were talking about fur. <laughs> because fur just takes your look up a thousand notches. So people don't just have to wear fur because it's you know two degrees outside. People wear it for the opulence. People wear it so their look can go up, uh, you know, 10 notches, you know. Fur really makes things look really, really good. If you're going out a night out on the town, you throw on a fur shawl, that's amazing. If you have, you know, a big video, in my world, do a lot of videos, you put on fur, it just changes the look. If you a girl going to watch a, you know, a Broadway play, you put on a fur and it just says, wow, look at her, everyone just stops. They say, wow, look at that. Fur just changes your look. So this room, the vault, is opulence. Think opulence. When you come here, say, take me to the vault, because you want to take it up. You want to take it all the way up. Let's turn it up a thousand notches. Come to the vault. Thank you guys for coming to join me today. I had an amazing time. I hope you learned something in fashion than you, than you already knew. I hope to see you again. But remember, fashion is always bold. Never dim your light, ever. Go big or go home, but never dim your light. Until next time, I'm Fiskani, your fashion architect.